So what is this film about? It's about how people have been displaced from their homes in East Boston. We just keep seeing moving trucks everywhere because of all the people trying to make millions doing luxury condominiums. How does it make you feel? Pretty sad. The history of East Boston is a history of human migration. And it was a place where you could find, at the time, very affordable places to live, perfectly suitable for a migrant like myself and thousands of others. So I made this place my home. The people that I work with are here. People I love here are here. The, the children that my son hangs up with are here. Although I could be with my son anywhere and be home, I should have the choice of picking up and moving somewhere else or not. We're getting entire blocks bought by these developers. Instead of having 15 apartments, now they have 45, 60 apartments and their studios or one or two bedroom apartments. We have gone from rents of $500 to $3,000 a month. And then they say, well, we know 10% will go to affordable housing, but affordable for whom? In the meantime, when you have a single mother with children and you throw them in the streets, and they ended up at the soup kitchen or, or, the, or, the, or the churches with us, nobody seems to have any responsibility for that. Most of us here can afford living in any of those apartments. Oh, Joanna! Right here, Joanna. There's so much there. And I just have felt like, okay, this is not a place for me to live at anymore. I want to move out. But I can't. I feel like I'm so rooted in here and my children too. And now I have the soup kitchen, I have all these friends, all my neighbors that are depending on this day. You're taking the fundamental necessity of food security, of shelter. It's the most elemental things that any family of any color, of any creed, should be able to have in America. How can this be legal? We know it's not moral. Welcome to the Boston City Council's committee hearing on planning, development, and transportation. When we, you go to the, to the meeting sponsor at the city of Boston, it's nothing but a kangaroo court. Our objective is to build a vibrant, transit-oriented, environmentally enlightened, mixed-use community. And it's not led by the commissioners, but it's led by the developer, 100%. In a supply-constrained market where we desperately need more housing. This is them promoting the development. This is not, there's no sense of, oh, let's, let's hear the, for the pros and the cons of what, uh, what would it mean? Nothing. 50, 60% of the population is Latino. None of this was circulated in Spanish. These folks expecting them to read in English is Boston Times and the Herald? I gotta be kidding me. But I got a whiff of that, and suddenly they have Latinos speaking in Spanish, and they were not prepared for that. They were not prepared, they were scared. And they held up signs, you know, in Spanish and English mm -hmm. with regard to basically don't displace us. Because of how the community responded, it's like, we're sick of this. Mm. It's just you're not listening to what people are saying. And it's not just him, it's the government. And our political representation is like painfully absent. Yeah, it's, it's up to us, those of us in the neighborhoods, to 
protect their own interests. All of this is the cost of a few people and a lot of money very quickly without any care for what it costs. Who owns all these land? No idea. I know a lot of people in East Boston. I can assure you, not one of them owns any of these yet. It doesn't bother us that there's people with nice boats. But it's like, where is the support for our people, the community? There are no rich people like them, powerful people like them, without people like us. We feed you. We build your homes. We wash your fancy cars. There's no you without us. <laughs> <laughs>